I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to be playing Cluck Old Hen. This is a great old tune uh, which you can play in an old timey or in a bluegrass way and I'm going to have a look at both versions. So this is a minor modal tune and uh, although the chords are uh, A major um, alternating with G major with a few E's thrown in, um, there's a lot of notes missing so that's your basic scale. A lot of people love um, these minor modal tunes, as do I, and uh, it's because of that kind of archaic feel that people like them. So uh, let's play through once with the chords and just listen out for the fact that they uh, listen out to what the chords are doing. The fact that they're A majors and we're playing as if they were A minors. So let's do the tune nice and slowly. Now the first thing you might notice about it is the, the C's are very um, flexible, shall we say. Um, that's not what you want. What you want is either sliding up to the C or sliding up from the C. So you've got a lot of flexibility. So basically, basically that C can be almost anywhere in between um, B and D and in fact one nice place for it is right in the middle between the two. So that's a, a neutral note. And you can do the same thing um, to the G's. So you can, if you take the F sharp and the A, and you place that second finger, then that, if you play it with confidence and accuracy, then, then that's a note you've never heard before. Now that's a real old timey feel, it's a real old timey sound. Um, bluegrass players would die rather than be heard playing a note like that. Um, but this is a real rustic tune. And if you mix that in with plenty of uh, scrapes and scratches, which I'm going to show you a bit more about uh, a bit later, then um, it really does work. But I think it's the C in particular which is the, um, the one you want to pay attention to. So as I say, either slide up or or take the C from the C natural up a little bit towards the C sharp and what that's basically doing is just um, it's showing that you're aware that there is an A major chord there and you're kind of saying okay well I want to play C but I'm going to show that um, it is possible to get that C sharp in. So um, let's do some drones. So A drone all through that and stop droning when you get to that G chord and drone again and then here you can drone again on the E could do put an E underneath the A so that's 
that's quite nice. Um, and the Georgia Shuffle, which is uh, my favourite. It only really works in the first half. So basically, you know, jack a doom, 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 jack we get in the same, the accent on the down bow. And we're just slurring everything else to make those accents happen. It's easier to demonstrate the um, Georgia Shuffle better when there's a whole load of quavers, which we don't have here, but it does work nicely. Let's just try as an experiment forcing the Georgia Shuffle over the second half. Um, <laughs> It does work, but uh, you kind of sacrifice some of the tune in order to get there. So I wouldn't recommend doing that the whole way through. Uh, let's play all of those ideas over the chords. Do some uh, special effects, some chicken noises. Um, on the uh, that bit, if you go right down to the heel and just bang the, the bow down. That's quite a nice one. Uh, there's you can do a pizzicato. Third finger on the E string playing an A. Fourth finger on the A string playing an E. And then you alternate that with a, a sliding parallel fifth on the second finger. Let's try putting that in uh, bar 12. You can also go crazy and um, repeat that. Over and over. Let's just try a few uh, chicken noises. Let's have a look at some uh, bluegrass soloing. Um, first position. Use the A minor blue scale. So starting on the bottom A. of the tune. Uh, let's uh, do a bit of soloing first position with the blues scale and we'll go three times round.
same scale in third position. So we're going to start off on a third position C note on the first finger. So up the pentatonic, flattened third, natural third. That's one up two. So you can do a whole solo in third position. I'm just going to do once round. Just going to go once round. Mysterious and magical things about bluegrass is that you can alternate between a major feel and a minor feel. And um, Vasa Clements was the master of the minor feel, but he would uh, alternate. Okay, to finish, I'm going to play three times round, um, and I'll just do whatever uh, chicken nonsense comes into my head. I hope you enjoyed this. If you are a subscriber, then send me an email, and I can send you a copy of the dots and a couple of those chicken licks and um, hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again soon.